Good evening. Hello. Hi. Hi, mister. How are you? How are you? Fine, fine. What about I'm, you? I'm fine, thank you. How are your classes? My classes? Your Portuguese classes. Mm, I have not... Uh, I have not uh, continued studying these days, but I will try to take it again because it's by myself. Oh, okay. I'm learning on YouTube and I'm trying to write everything about. Oh, okay. Oh my God. Wait, I cannot wait to hear this. Why? I see that Eduardo has headsets. Yeah. Please? Let's hear him. Let's hear. Him. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. <laughs> Hello, Eduardo. Can you talk? Hey, Mister. How are you? All right. Yes. Yeah, fine. <laughs> can, uh, can you hear me? Yes, I can. Definitely, we can hear you much better now. Okay. So we discovered what was the problem. What was the problem? The 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 headphone cheaper. That that cheaper headphone. Oh, okay. <laughs> so because the, 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 the one that I, the one I'm using right now is, is different. Oh, okay. There you go. So that's a USB. Yeah, yeah I think so. Yeah. Like, 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 like yours. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Nice. Because what? the one that, that I had yesterday, uh, yesterday was the one that, the one that you bought on, on, on the street of, of $3. Okay. Okay, wow. so you, you see the difference now. Oh, yes. It's, it's very good to hear your voice now. Oh, okay. <laughs> we are day, very I, happy. All right. Yes. I, 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 we, we discovered that the, that the cheaper things are not so good. Yes. <laughs> wow. If, yeah, anything that is cheap eventually is not good. Uh, on, on, unless, unless sometimes you're lucky, you know. Sometimes. Oh yes, that's true. That's true. <laughs> yeah, but, yeah. Because these one are different. This one you are, are expensive. The one I'm using right now. Oh, okay, good. But mm -hmm. it's exactly like, like like the one you're using right now. Oh, okay, good, nice. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm 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 happy to hear your voice now. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Yeah, because you know it was very difficult when you would speak and speak and say, "I can hear you," and I said, "Oh my God, is it only me that I can't hear you?" But when I heard the rest of the class, you know, saying, "Yeah,", yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah but, but really strange because I hear you with the other one very good. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. No one was a problem. Yeah, but you know, you know, that's what happens sometimes. Um, uh, let me see. I'll show you. But for example, do you see this pin here? Yes. Yeah. Like this, do you see it has three lines? One, two, yeah. three. Yeah. Do you know what that means? No. One is oh. for audio and one is for a microphone and one is for. Oh. Uh, yes. What is okay. it? Say, the tres is that, the left, right, and microphone. Let, let, oh. let, let me see it. Let me see. Let me see how many lines. How many? Exactly like the one I wear yesterday. See, you just, like the one I had. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and why you didn't hear me? Because but very strange. Because I use the one I used yet. Yeah, the one where I was using before. I use it with my cell phone, and no, nobody say anything. Okay, but then you know what? Also, check your check your um maybe the entrance of your of your desktop yeah, sometimes but, that could be the problem also but now you you, you hear me very well oh yes oh change <laughs> change computers okay. <laughs> that, that could be a solution okay, okay. class how are you welcome how, how was your day today how are you teacher thank you how, are how, you? how was your morning today was it nice it was very cold in the morning today, no? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. It was. Oh, I love the morning. I, I, I love putting on a blanket. 
Yeah, yeah that, that was cool. Maybe, maybe the problem is when it's, uh, it's cold, the, the weather is cold. I don't want to get up the, the bed. I, I want to stay in the bed. Yeah. <laughs> Even Me to take too? a shower, you know, like. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes or no? Do you start with your left foot first, and then, and then your left foot in, mm -hmm. and then your hand, <laughs> and like ten minutes later, you said no. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you just go in. Yeah. But anyway, we have to work. <laughs> yes, that's that's the bad part. Mm. All right. Okay. Life. That's life. I saw a meme. You know what a meme is, right? Mm. Yep. Yes. Uh, meme, but in English you say meme. Ah, oh, meme. And it's spelled the same. M-E-M-E. -E. Okay. And uh, I read that it says like, got it, man. Just one day I want to be rich because I've been, I'm, I'm sick of being poor all my life. <laughs> So he's saying like God, you know. Okay, yeah, <laughs> I know what it is like to be poor. All my life, I've been poor. I just want to be rich one day. Mm. Oh. Yeah, it's funny. I mean, when when you read it, it's it's, it's funny. <laughs> or like I saw another meme that it says this this man asking God, you know, like he says, "Oh God, I don't want to work." No more. Give me one reason why I should work, and then God answers. You're poor. <laughs> <Not bad. laughs> yeah, so. so what other reason is there? Okay, so do you remember what we did yesterday? Yeah. What did we do yesterday? We're doing listening. We, we were studying about the present perfect in past. Listen. Okay. Yes. Present perfect, present continuous. continuous. Present perfect and simple past. And simple past and present continuous. And continuous. So every time you see continuous, it's an action in progress, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Sure. You know, present continuous, past continuous, you can also say uh, present progressive or past progressive. It's the same thing. Personally, I like to say progressive more because it says, okay, the action is in progress. Because if you say present progressive, okay, the action is in progress in the present. Past progressive, the action was in progress in the past. You know, but it's optional. Yeah. Okay, let me share my screen with you. Please tell, hold on, let me see here. Okay. Uh, I'm just not letting me open, okay. Do you see my screen? Yes. 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 Okay, good. Thank you. It wasn't letting me open. I don't know why. Okay, let's listen to this. It's in the news. It's in the news. Hey, there's not going to be electricity on Friday in El Salvador. Huh? Where'd you hear that? It's in the news. Okay. It's that expression. It's in the news. Okay. Yes. All right, so let's hear it. Let me see. Very good. Do you watch news on TV? Do you read the newspaper? The following words will help you speak a little bit better when talking about news. 
How would you define each of these news events? Epidemic, famine, hijacking, kidnapping, natural disaster, political crisis, rebellion, recession, robbery, scandal. Discuss the questions, ask follow-up questions and add extra information. How closely do you follow the news? What kind of stories interest you? What do you think was the most important news story in the last few years? Do you think stories about sports or celebrities count as real news? In class, let's talk about a relevant news you watched or heard today. All right, who can tell me about uh, a news, a relevant news that you watched or you heard today? Relevant news? Mm, I couldn't see any anything about news today. But you know, now it's really not necessary nowadays. Ah, okay. It's not really, you don't need to watch the news on TV to yes. to um, what? know what's going on because modern time, now we have social media. Good or bad, but you know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, uh, what's a re relevant news right now? Politics, 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 yeah. politics, uh, political <laughs> yeah. news. Yeah. About let, the, let, what's um, going on with that shooting? Uh, shooting? Remember that they shot those two people from FMLN. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Imagine right. how terrible. Imagine how terrible is going to. Is what is happening right now, and that is politics, but. Yeah. It is. They are crazy. Yes, but you know, I, I don't know. This is what I heard on the news. Uh, what I heard, you know, just reading, that also they attacked. I mean, the victims were the FMLN people, right? Yeah. But I, I also heard that they were armed and they attacked. The, the oh. Shoes. So I don't know, but I, I saw that the. Uh, the news was showing that there was a video of how everything happened. Oh, I, hope, I, I, hope that they, that. I hope that that is true. I really hope that because that was very, very, yeah. very stupid. Yeah, I know. And I really, really hope that this was not a political, but I think it is. Yeah, of course it is. Of course it is. Because I saw that immediately after that happened, it was Bukele's fault. Bukele did it. Bukele, he is, he is hate, hate, hate. And that, okay, no, this was political. Of course it is political. And what was funny, what I really didn't appreciate was Ortiz saying that hate. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I mean, the man spent a almost every day saying we will go back to the mountains with the guns <laughs> oh, <laughs> and oh remember oh. remember when he said that yeah. we are ready we're ready to fight again him and nidia diaz and now they're they're saying yeah. like you can't implement hate I'm like, oh, come on man. you're not even <laughs> you're not even a good politician <laughs> i mean be be a little smart you know don't say that why because remember what you said before Oh, see, but then I would not want to say anything. <laughs> but, oh, God. But I think I think that's the hottest news in this moment, right? Yeah. Yes. Um, and you know what the sad part is? Everybody talks about Bukele did it. Bukele says they don't want to give the videos, but nobody talks about the people that died. That's yeah. that's sad. Yeah, no, but how are you going to be, talk about that people because that, that people is there? What, what they are going to talk about them? Well, you know, I mean, if what I would do if I were a smart politician, you know, for yeah. votes, yeah. I would have like all the all the members of FMLN that are going for uh, candidates. I would have gone to the funeral, to the funeral, and offer the family help. I know it's hypocrisy, but on the SCCM, 
No, but the, well, I, ha I haven't seen any of them. No, but you know, you know, you know, like you know, go and show respect. You know, like oh, you know. But they didn't do that, and now I imagine Bukele is going to do it. He's going to say where the government will pay the the family of those victims. Y otra vez se va a ganar el voto. You know, it's. I think it's, it's take advantage of the situation. You gotta be smart, but I think that's the hottest news. Also in sports, Barcelona won today. Yes. Ah, yes, a uh, good team. <laughs> uh, uh, they they <laughs> they played very good today. You know, I am so angry because today I didn't work. I had a day to myself, mm -hmm. and I did not watch the game. I totally forgot. Oh, and yeah, sorry so for said, you. Yes, you know, like, oh my God, today was the perfect day. I watched the final and I had all the time in the world. I was alone in my house all day and I did not watch it. <laughs> so, but I will watch it after. How do you say goal, goals in English, goal. teacher? Goals. Goal. Goals. Four goals. Yes. Five? Five, I think. Five. It was three. Yes. Wow. Okay. Wow. Did Messi play by any chance? Did anybody see? Yes, he played. Okay, I, I just read it, but I said, no, no, I, I, want to, I want to watch this news carefully. Okay, uh, what about um, Ovidio? What have you seen on the news lately about COVID? What? What is the question? What have you seen... Uh, because we're talking about news. What have you seen uh, lately? Uh, uh, about the, 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 the COVID. Yes. How are we doing? Are, are we okay? Are we getting more people infected? Is the curve okay. going up or down? What have you seen on the news? Uh, the, the news says is the, 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 the person infected is growing. It's grow, growing. Oh, it's growing. Oh man! Yeah, it is. Many people are 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 sick about it. Oh, For man. example, in, in my in my company, there are uh, uh, four four person in in San Miguel, San Miguel uh, positive are uh, uh, COVID nineteen. Oh man, are they okay though? Yeah, yeah they they are okay. Yeah, I, I uh, they took or, or take the the medicine. You know what? Mm. You know what? Um, uh, I'm going to tell you something bad I did. Mm -hmm. Um, when I started seeing that COVID started growing and growing and growing, and many friends of mine started getting it, and they saying, "No, but also I, have, I just got symptoms." I thought to myself, oh, well, then when I get it, nothing's going to happen to me. Mm. You know, uh, unconsciously, because, you know, you, you start thinking like that. Yeah. So, yeah. so, I mean, I was always careful, but, but then again, I should have been more careful and I wasn't. So I got it. I got the COVID. And luckily, luckily that I did not... I just got all the symptoms, you know, as a big body ache, body ache, dolor de, that's the cuerpo. Oh uh -huh. man, really? You sit, what you sit do you down. Love the, do you love the the taste and the and the smell? Mm -hmm. Yes, the I sense. love the oh. sense of taste and smell. I got fever and the body ache. Okay, oh, uh, uh, yes. When do you and you make the test because? You this because you were sick or because someone or or why or because in your work could you okay no that? actually actually uh what i did what happened was and I, now i think it's very good i i got it on a saturday i remember i started feeling very bad on a saturday with fevers yeah mm -hmm. So with my wife, we had we had spoken about that. Hey, uh, if anybody gets symptoms, we already had a room prepared in the back. Oh, okay. So um, 
So Saturday morning, I woke up with a fever and immediately I went to the room. You mm -hmm. know, I didn't think, I mean, I thought the worst, but I said, you know what, just take a precaution. And then in the afternoon, I still continued with the fever. I took medicine. Okay, so then I called the 321 yeah. or 132. And I called them and, you know, then they were, they're very nice. They're very effective. They tell you, okay, um, what do you have? Do you have fevers? Do you have body pain? And I said, yes, I have that. Uh, can you smell and taste? In that day, yes, I could. Okay, um, look, we're going to put you as a suspect of COVID. They, they put me as a suspect. Suspect. And they sent me medicine the next day. And the next day, they, they kept on calling me. They called me every day. And... Mm -hmm. um, and then he told me, how are you doing? I'm, oh, no, it's worse. I'm getting worse. Uh, I still have fever. My fever doesn't go down. And then like three days later, okay, I lost, I lost the sense. But they were like expecting that. Like, okay, okay. What they were really worried about if is they actually asked me a lot. Okay, can you breathe? And I said, yes, I can. But I didn't have mocos or anything. Because sometimes if you have the flu that stops you from breathing but in this yes. case in this case if you have difficulty breathing and you don't have anything that's when they start worrying yes in this case i was very lucky because i didn't have any difficulty breathing so and i asked them can i take the test and they told me look i'll be honest with you you don't need to take the test Every symptom you have is COVID. If you're going to take the test, it's a risk because nobody can take you. Do not go to a hospital. You can Please. infect somebody. What we're worried right now, if you get worse, if you get worse, we will go and pick you up. That's what they told me. So what you have right now is not good, but let's maintain it there so it can go down. If it gets worse, we'll call you and we'll ask you automatically for the test. So then they told me, don't worry about the test right now. That's not important. You have to be in quarantine. And then they sent me a paper. So I, I think it was good because now- Yeah, now, you never made the, made the test. No, but you know, and now that I think about it, I tell my wife, so imagine I did go and take the test. What would have been the difference? Oh, you're positive. So I know I'm positive. Yes. The only thing I told them, look, I, I would just like to know if I am, oh, I'm very sure I had COVID. I'm very sure, but so I can donate blood. I want to donate blood. Oh, yes. So I told them, is there any possible way I can, I, you know, you can do a checkup on me so I can go donate blood. Yeah. But, um, but definitely uh, what the doctor told me, look, I cannot, I cannot give you an answer unless I have a test, but definitely I'm 90% sure that you have COVID because you got every symptom. The only symptom maybe I did not get was diarrhea. Diarrhea mm -hmm. and vomiting. I think those were the only symptoms. But then she said, some people only get diarrhea. Some people only do this. And some people get mm -hmm. only two symptoms. Different yeah. symptoms. Yes, yeah. but I got, I, got, I got pretty much all of them, you know. <laughs> And, and that, that was kind of worrying because, you know, every day, but then it stopped. They sent me a lot of medicine. I took cocktails of medicine every day. And the doctors called me every day. And then, but that's what they worry about most. Can you breathe? Yes. Do you have any difficulty breathing? No, not right now. Okay, that, that's what they were worried about. But what I was going to tell you is my neighbor, she is 33 years old. She's very young. Very pretty, too. Oh. <laughs> yeah. yeah, every time I look at her, oh my gosh, she's so beautiful. But she looks in perfect condition. She has been in the hospital since December. <gasps> since really? December? Yes. Wow. Almost two December. months. Almost two oh. months. And, and, and she's the type of, of a girl that she really, if you see her, then you will understand, oh man, because you know, she does exercise and 
She likes to be in, in shape and I'm not. In shape. I have, I have overweight. I don't do exercise. I don't do anything. <laughs> and, but this is really depends on your, on your family background. Mm -hmm. yeah. and because she's sick and she got like nearly died I was speaking with her mother maybe two days ago or three days ago on Saturday you know and she told me she's sick I'm like what yes yeah, since December you haven't seen the car and I said <laughs> I didn't want to tell her no I never realized but now that you think about it yeah I haven't seen her yeah she's very sick she could only breathe um 40% from her lungs were working. Oh. So she she was she had the tube and, and everything and she didn't get better. But now it's a good thing. She's starting to be a little better. She's at 50 oh. she's at 50 percent now. Oh. But but you know, my all oh, and then the maid, the Niaguna Senora, the maid, mm -hmm. yeah, she died. Oh, oh kobe <laughs> yes and i was oh my god and you know this is really serious and that's when i started thinking about me oh my god i am so so lucky okay. I, because i have i am not in good physical condition i don't do exercise i don't eat well <laughs> i have mm -hmm. e every every negative thing and i was so lucky that this did not affect me how it has affected mm -hmm. other people. So please be careful. Take this seriously. Yes. You know, you know, many people think ah, because yes, you hear a lot of people, yeah, medio, pero no, no, it's just fever. Okay, good. But that's that's not enough. You have to really be careful. Mm -hmm. I am so careful now. I am I'm a little traumado, traumatized. Yes. yes. Yeah, now I, yes. I really I do not leave with my spray, everything I touch. I wash my hands constantly, everything, everything, you know, mm -hmm. I, because like my wife, I, when I was thinking about my neighbor, I was thinking about my wife. I said, wow, my wife, because my wife is in good condition. She's thin and, and this and that. And I said, oh my God, what if this, my wife gets this and we don't know. And she, she really has to go to the hospital. Yes. So you imagine. Have to, you have to wear a good mask too. Depending yes. on what place you visit. Look, what I recommend, really, the best thing you can do is listen to the doctors. Mm -hmm. Don't listen to people. Yeah. Because I didn't tell a lot of people that I had COVID because then there's stupid comments. No, I can up and on a lot of this. I can go this. That's when you have it. Like, oh, yes. you know, or like, Oh, when this happened, and no, mira, forget all the medicines. Just eat lemon, or eat this, <laughs> eat that, and, <laughs> and you say, "Oh man, okay, good, thank you, thank you." But you know, just if the best, yes. I I I rather listen to a doctor. Yes. Yeah, and they call me, and it's then okay. I follow what they tell me. I, I, it's the best. <laughs> yes, because yes. people invent like a hundred medicines. Yeah, you know, some people say, you know, it's a lie. I mean, they give you this, they give you that. All I took was lemon juice. You know, so okay, I'm, okay, mm -hmm. you know, like good for you, thank you. You know, I'll do that, but I don't know. I, I, I paid attention to the doctor. I believe in medicine. Mm -hmm. That's great. Yes. <laughs> yes. So uh, that's what I was telling you. I was, I was actually scared about my neighbor. I'm a huya pobrecita, man. I. I She's yes. at fifty percent now, so I hope I hope she gets better. Yes. I mean, imagine, imagine being, imagine being, what, two months in a hospital with a breathing tube. Oh my God! I saw on the news that this poor man, he went every day to the hospital because they don't let you in, of course. And every day he prayed in front of the hospital because his wife was inside. His wife was there for 50 days and she died. Oh. But I, I read that on the news. Did you read that? Yeah, so sad. I, no. can, I, yes. I think I did. I'm sure it was in Ecuador or something like that. Oh, it wasn't here? It was in Ecuador? No, no, I, I think that it, was, it wasn't here. Uh, oh, if okay. I'm not mistaken, it was in Ecuador or something. Oh. Uh, I'm not sure. Oh my God, but can you imagine that? That was so yeah, absolutely. sad. Absolutely. It's 
really, really sad. I, I imagine my, my neighbor, the mother, imagine every day thinking of your son. Oh my God, my son's still in the hospital. And, and, and because, it's difficult, can see her. Yes, because her mother is only mm -hmm. calling for, for telephone to the hospital. It's the only way to know. It's the only her. way. Imagine calling every day. Uh, yeah, I'm calling for, how is she doing? No, lo mismo. Oh, miren, pero, pero, oh my God. Or imagine she died. Yes. Yeah, so be careful. Take care of yourself. Okay. Yes. Um, I have a question. Kelly. Yes. Did yes. you did you buy the chuco today? <laughs> I couldn't, teacher. Oh man. I oh. couldn't, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay, that's cool, but don't worry. Maybe on Saturday because I have to uh, I go out uh, around uh, 1 p.m. or but I'm not sure what is the time that the the chuco yes. seller stayed in, <laughs> in the corner of the yeah that I don't know but I don't know if she's there at one because honestly I think it's too early for chuco at one oh okay <laughs> but I don't yeah. know maybe maybe on Saturday I'm gonna try and be relaxed <laughs> <I'm> all right <laughs> yeah, and relax yes all right um do you see my screen, class? Yeah. Yes, teacher. Uh, yes, teacher. Okay, great. So, stories about sports or celebrities count. Do you watch news on TV? So the we talk about the news. Stories so about right now in El Salvador, obviously the most relevant news is politics because we have big elections coming next month. Yeah. Yes. yes. Which is. No, in this month. This, this oh month my is God, it's this month. Oh, yeah. You know, yeah. you know what? I will be honest with you. I told my wife, and I'm surprised this didn't happen. I actually thought that the uh, congressmen, the diputados, mm -hmm. um, I really thought that they were going to close El Salvador, you know, and use the excuse of COVID. Yeah. You know, so they they can buy time, you know. I, yeah. that, I really thought they were gonna do that, you know, like, no man, let's let's close it and buy three more months. Oh. Yeah, I, I was expecting for them to do that, but no, they haven't yet. They didn't. Yeah, I think they're just yeah, waiting I, like I for... bet they thought about that. I, I I bet they thought about that, but decided don't do it because I mean you can see the the support that the people is giving to the president and the new party. Yeah, but remember, they have a lot of power. They have the judges. They have this. They have the votes. So I thought, mm -hmm. I, I thought they were just gonna say, you know, hey, let's do it, and and elections in three more months. So in three, we have three more months to invent something. <laughs> yeah. But I can't wait. I can't wait for the elections. This is gonna be a good <laughs> telenovela, man. <laughs> Maybe after two elections. No, yeah, you know what? I, I, I can't wait, yes, until like one year from now. Yeah, that's right. When, when a lot of people are going to be arrested. <laughs> <laughs> or, or, or a lot of people are going to die or get cancer. Mm -hmm. <laughs> They're going to disappear. Yeah. Yes, that's going to be fun. Good novella. Mm. Yes. Yes. No, sorry. <laughs> yeah, I'm. I'm waiting for a Netflix documentary on on Bukele. Mm -hmm. I mean, good or bad, but there has to be a, a this history. The cool president. Huh? Really? No, you know, no, I. I was uh, actually. I was reading. I was watching the news from. Where was it? Chile, I think, that they actually did a segment on, on Bukele. And this, oh, is not to, this is not to talk bad or good about him, but they used him, at a, they used him as an example of how the new revolution can work because it was talking that, um, it is true what it said, you know, it says Latin America and even the United States, it's always going to be the same. In the United States, it's always going to be a Democrat or a Republican, always. Mm -hmm. There is no third option. 
and Latin America, especially all the corrupted countries, which is all of them, they all, I mean, the same party always wins. There's always two, the left and right. Yeah. And they've been so long that they're friends now. Yeah. You know, so, you know, so for like, I imagine before for Arena, oh, if FML, oh, but we're, we're, we're bored, you know, we have connections. And now here actually comes a very big change. Here comes a third option. And, and a really, and the third option is the first option right now, you know, the, and so they were talking about how that could change <laughs> politics in, in Latin America, you know, like, hey, there's a new revolution now. Well, what happens if this happens in Mexico? What happens if this happens in the United States? Imagine, can you, they said, can you imagine in the United States, a president that is not Republican or Democrat? Mm. Mm. So I guess a lot of a, a, the world is like waiting to see what happens, if this is good or bad. Mm -hmm. And it's true. It's, it's like Mexico, siempre que van a dar el PRI or... or el PAN. El PAN, yeah. Uh, well, Nicaragua doesn't count because... <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but maybe, maybe someday. Dictator. <laughs> yeah, dictatorship. Uh -huh. Mm -hmm. Mexico, Guatemala is a big change too. So, Costa Rica. So it's going to be interesting. So, it could be good or bad. Okay, let's do this listening exercise. It says, listen okay. to an early morning news broadcast. What is each story about? Okay, teacher. Okay, a news broadcast. Listen to an early morning news broadcast. What is each story about? Write the correct number. One. It's seven o'clock and time for the news. First, this just in from the World Health Organization, or the WHO. The WHO has reported that we are facing a potential global epidemic due to untreatable cases of tuberculosis, also known as TB. TB is dangerous because it affects the lungs. The number of cases is growing worldwide, and this has researchers worried. According to a recent study, as many as a third of all known TB cases are untreatable because of new drug-resistant strains. The drugs normally used to treat TB are simply not working. For now, the WHO is planning an international program to educate people about the dangers of TB. Two. And now we have a report on a scandal involving famous 19th century painter Vincent van Gogh and one of his most famous paintings. Sunflowers, done in 1888, was recently bought by a large multinational company for several million dollars. Well, the scandal erupted in London yesterday over the authenticity of this painting. An art expert from the Dutch Art Institute is claiming that the painting is a forgery. Authorities are looking into the matter. Three. Next, to Mexico, where Hurricane Pauline pounded Cancun and nearby areas last night, leaving many people homeless. The strong winds and heavy rains made for horrible conditions. Floods and landslides destroyed homes and cars, especially in the beachfront areas. Rescue is particularly difficult because streets are blocked, in most cases, by mud. It's believed that some people are trapped inside their homes and cannot get out. Most people have left their homes and are now safely in temporary shelters. Mexican authorities predict that the disaster is going to have a huge impact on the tourist business in Cancun this year. Four. And finally, a story for all you parents out there. How often do your kids push you to your limit? And what do you do about it? One tired and harassed mother from Illinois decided she'd had enough yesterday. Instead of yelling at her children, as she normally would, she decided to leave. She walked out the door and climbed a tree. The tree with her children's treehouse in it, that is. She told her children she had decided to stay in their treehouse until they started appreciating her more. She put a sign in front of the treehouse that said, On strike, no cooking, cleaning, doctoring, banking, 
or driving until demands met. The children tried to persuade her to come down, but no luck. Finally, one of them had the smart idea of baking their mother's favorite treat, brownies. Well, they must have smelled good because that did the trick. Mom agreed to come down and meet her children at the bargaining table. No word yet on the outcome of those negotiations, though. That's it for now. We'll be back in an hour with more news. That's a strange family. <laughs> yeah. All right, so what was number one about? Gringos. Epidemic. 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 Number two? A scandal. scandal. Number two was the Van Gogh, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. The, the, the painting. Yep. Do you like Van Gogh? Mm, yes. I I like the, Sorry, the, the kind of uh, painting. Impressionismo. How do you say impressionismo in English, teacher? It's, I, I think it's surrealism. Uh, surrealism. Um, yeah. Okay. Yeah. The Starry Night, yeah, that's good, Guillermo. Do you know the story? Do you know the story about that painting? No, no. But you, you've seen that famous painting, right? Yeah. Yes. The Starry Night. I mean, if if you look at it, people say like, "So what's so special about this?" It's just like normal. And really, Van Gogh, he was um, he was a, becoming a little crazy. A little crazy. Mm -hmm. yes. So he voluntarily went to a psychiatrist hospital. Uh, yes, and to study. The... No, he, he he went as a patient, like saying, "Hey, like, yeah. ah, as, as a client, <laughs> as a client, yes, ah, as a client." <laughs> and, yeah, uh, he took a lot of drugs. Uh, in that time, I I I don't know what kind of drugs they were, but like strong drugs, <laughs> you know, like herbs and, and things. So the, the, the famous story about that painting is because in the in the mental in the institution where he was at, he only had one hour, one hour a day of um to be in the patio. So that's what he saw from his window or, or from, yeah. from the institution. So yeah. it's amazing how he remembered everything and he started painting it. Yeah, it's one of the most fa famous paintings from yes. Van Gogh. Yes, painter. Yes, it is. And it's, but it's, what's amazing about it is like how he remembered and, and, and the drugs he was in, because imagine how he saw <laughs> with all the lights. And that's why it's, it's, the painting is beautiful, but the story about the painting is what makes it more beautiful. <laughs> Yes, and unfortunately, when he was alive, he only sold like two paintings. He was very, very poor. Yeah. Only after he died is that he became famous. That's why he painted yeah. himself a lot, because he couldn't pay a model. He didn't have money, so he, he, he painted himself. Wow. In fact, there's a, the, the, in Netflix, there's a movie about him. You should oh. watch it. It's very good. Really? Is that good? Uh, yeah, yeah. I, 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 I was. The name uh, of the, of the, movie? series or, or, series. or It's movie. a movie. It's a movie. But the interesting thing about this movie is that the whole movie is drawings. <clears throat> oh. But it's drawing to the style of Van Gogh. So I think I think like twenty thousand. 20,000 students did that movie, a painting, a oh. but it, it is a what, movie. What's, what's the name of the movie, teacher? It's... Let me let me look for it right now, but it, it's in Netflix. Oh, I... Let me see I right now. Check it. I, I saw it a long time ago when it came out because I am oh. a big uh, Van Gogh no, fan. You'll never be. It, it's called. You were stuck with me. Let me see. Yes, yes. I will. I will watch it at, on the weekend. Oh, Cartas de Van Gogh is called. Carpas. Oh, yeah, okay. Theo and Joe. Uh, Cartas de Van Gogh. 
It's very good. It talks about why he cut his ear and, and everything. Mm, very interesting. Thank you, teacher. Yeah. Yeah, yeah very... I, I, I remember that I watched on TV, I watched on TV a uh, documentary about Van Gogh. It was very interesting. Yeah, I he, would he, watch it. He was a very interesting character, yes. Yeah. Yeah, watch it. It's interesting. And and the movie is narrated in a very easy English that you can understand. So okay. that's another good thing. Sure. Yes. Okay, mm -hmm. um, next we have, oh, number three. What was number three? A natural, natural disaster. disaster. Natural disaster. Yeah. yeah, and number four was? An unusual, unusual family. family. Unusual family. Good. You know, every time that you share the screen, I'm trying to scroll down by myself. <laughs> so oh, you I are. forget that it's your screen. Yeah. You forget, and, I yes. did, and I do it every time. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, man, this, this is not working. You know, I should do this to confuse you. <laughs> yeah. Okay. yeah, I should do that to confuse you. All right. Okay. Um, let's listen to part two. Okay, talking about unusual family, do you know any unusual families? No, no, I don't know. Like, um, two blocks I think that mine is a unusual family. Unusual. It depends on yeah. what do you think is because unusual. It's a big family. Uh, I, think well, I, I got have... one case, I got one case. Okay. And it's really, I don't know, it's out of mind. Uh, uh, these neighbors, uh, well, it was the, the mister that it was a professor, his wife, uh, her daughter, and her granddaughter. And uh, suddenly the mister didn't go out of the house and anything. And we noticed that he was sick, but just that. And it was weird that uh, with the time, people uh, uh, noticed a, a real awful smell and they didn't oh know why. People thought that there were rats or, or something like, like that dying on the ceilings of the houses. And it was impressive that they had him uh, already, uh, I don't know how to say, the man was already dead and they kept it in the, in the bed like three months. Wow. Can you imagine? They did cleaned they the- Did they, they kill him? Clean. That was no. here in El Salvador? Yes, he had cancer, but they cleaned the, the body. Can the you imagine? Body. And that was the bell smell that all the, neighbors felt why did they do that i don't know but the his wife is like a little crazy and her daughter too because they took it like normal That's or maybe maybe normal. they were still collecting his paycheck <laughs> <laughs> that was out of our minds that is unusual <laughs> yes i, I have a unusual I had a neighbor, I have a neighbor that, um, okay, they were very cool. It was a very cool couple. They were very young uh, and then they divorced. So then the man, he left the house. Within time, the lady, she got another boyfriend. I don't know if she's married or not. Okay, and that's normal. Okay, so, and this man lives with her, right? So it's like, okay, cool. Now here's the strange part. Because they had a daughter, the ex-husband always came to visit his daughter. All right. And, and like I said, they were very open mind. But the strange thing is that it looks like the ex-husband and the new husband, now they are like best friends. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah, that's what 
you know, like sometimes when you go out and leave the, you know, the garbage, they have barbecues, they drink together. They're always, I have her husband on Facebook and they go to, they go to parties or, or like to the games and they're always like, <laughs> Yeah. Okay. That that I think that's strange for me because I yeah. I cannot imagine divorcing my wife and being her husband's new best friend. Yeah. It's very. Maybe they can have a maybe they can have a respectful relationship, course, but not being normal. best friends. Come on, yeah. That's yeah, true. that that's very <laughs> un, yeah uncomfortable because imagine in that silence, like. <laughs> you know but okay that's strange and i have another another neighbors okay that's strange because i forgot what religion they are but they only believe that they have sex only to rec reproduce man that family i think they have like 11 children wow <clears throat> but they are they are this they're very nice people, but you know they're very strict. Religious. Yes, but their objective is to reproduce, you know, children of God or whatever. But that lady doesn't. <laughs> she's gonna stop, man. I mean, she's always gonna. She's always gonna be pregnant until I guess. Well, I guess until like God gives her. Um, baby. <laughs> cool. That's strange because it's imagine having eleven children. <laughs> I can imagine having one. One. <laughs> can, yeah, can you imagine having eleven children, <laughs> and one of them gets COVID? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, but you know, I don't think I don't think that's good because I mean, if you're gonna have eleven children, you gotta be a millionaire. Yeah, because or the houses here are only four four rooms, maybe five. Yeah. How how can you mix boys and girls? I don't know. I, I don't think it's correct. Yeah, I respect I respect the part that okay, it's our religion. This is what we believe. Okay, but if you do that, then you have to have a good backup. Like, hey, we do that, but we can maintain that. <laughs> but. Uh, I, I'm not surprised if she's pregnant again. I haven't seen her because after this um, COVID, but uh, you know, every time I see her, she always has a big stomach. So, <laughs> wow. <laughs> so maybe she's pregnant again. One of one of her children is very good friends with my son. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I always give they, them chocolate. They have I, a football team. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> You know, I, I think I think that the child is very um they don't give him many things like candies or this and that. Mm. Because when I when I give him candy, he he's like, Oh my god, something he's never seen before. It's like and he says, Oh my god, this is the best thing I have ever eaten in my life. <laughs> so I always give him my wife tells me no no to this because you know, maybe oh, I forget. he's a kid. How can you not <laughs> give a kid a candy, man? Yeah, I'm waiting for her mother to tell me, look, we don't give them candy. Oh, okay, I understand. But I'm, I'm always going to give them candy. Yeah, of course. <laughs> okay, so for me, that's a very unusual family. Yes. All right. Um, but it's more unusual, the first one. I mean, really, it's like when you see them two together, it's like, dude, they're best friends. Or like... <laughs> And they drink a lot, and that's a problem. They, they you know, they they party a lot. And I tell my wife, wow. can you can you imagine the wife drinking with her husband and her ex husband, and the three together? Because wow. you know, when people, you you cannot trust people that drink. <laughs> you know, alcohol can turn on you. So I'm waiting for the for the ah stupid <laughs> That's crazy. Okay. Um, let's listen to part two. So listen, TB is dangerous because it affects the heart. We have to find out what is TB. Let's listen to, oh, there's a lot of examples here. Eight. 
Do you want me to play it all or do you want me to stop one by one? No, you can play it all. Play it all. all right. Okay. Listen to an early morning news broadcast. What is each story about? Write the correct number. One. It's seven o'clock and time for the news. First, this just in from the World Health Organization, or the WHO. The WHO has reported that we are facing a potential global epidemic due to untreatable cases of tuberculosis, also known as TB. TB is dangerous because it affects the lungs. The number of cases is growing worldwide, and this has researchers worried. According to a recent study, as many as a third of all known TB cases are untreatable because of new drug-resistant strains. The drugs normally used to treat TB are simply not working. For now, the WHO is planning an international program to educate people about the dangers of TB. Two. And now we have a report on a scandal involving famous 19th century painter Vincent van Gogh and one of his most famous paintings. Sunflowers, done in 1888, was recently bought by a large multinational company for several million dollars. Well, the scandal erupted in London yesterday over the authenticity of this painting. An art expert from the Dutch Art Institute is claiming that the painting is a forgery. Authorities are looking into the matter. Three. Next, to Mexico, where Hurricane Pauline pounded Cancun and nearby areas last night, leaving many people homeless. The strong winds and heavy rains made for horrible conditions. Floods and landslides destroyed homes and cars, especially in the beachfront areas. Rescue is particularly difficult because streets are blocked, in most cases, by mud. It's believed that some people are trapped inside their homes and cannot get out. Most people have left their homes and are now safely in temporary shelters. Mexican authorities predict that the disaster is going to have a huge impact on the tourist business in Cancun this year. Four. And finally, a story for all you parents out there. How often do your kids push you to your limit? And what do you do about it? One tired and harassed mother from Illinois decided she'd had enough yesterday. Instead of yelling at her children, as she normally would, she decided to leave. She walked out the door and climbed a tree. The tree with her children's treehouse in it, that is. She told her children she had decided to stay in their treehouse until they started appreciating her more. She put a sign in front of the treehouse that said, On strike, no cooking, cleaning, doctoring, banking, or driving until demands met. The children tried to persuade her to come down, but no luck. Finally, one of them had the smart idea of baking their mother's favorite treat, brownies. Well, they must have smelled good because that did the trick. Mom agreed to come down and meet her children at the bargaining table. No word yet on the outcome of those negotiations, though. That's it for now. We'll be back in an hour with more news. Okay, same stories, but let's hear now. TB is dangerous because it affects the heart. True or false? False. False. Um, do, what is TB? Tuberculosis. All right, good. One third, it says one third of a TB cases, one third of all, oh, uh, misspelled here, of all TB cases are untreatable. True. Too. True. true. Yeah, misspelled. True. true. The painting was bought by a wealthy person. False. 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 The painting may be a forgery. True. 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 Hurricane Pauline has trapped some people in their homes. True. 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 The tourist business in Cancun will be unaffected. False. 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 True. I think that is true, but it's going to be affected. It's um, going to be yeah. affected. Yep. But 
But it, here it's saying will be unaffected. Unaffected, yeah, that's why it's true. Yeah. It's 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 false. It's false. Well, yes. I like think that it's true. <laughs> no, because okay, yeah, no, I see your point, but the tourist business in Cancun, actually for me it should have been it will be affected, true or false. Yeah. It's true. Uh, it was. It is going to be affected. It will affect it, but yeah. it says unaffected. Here it says yeah. unaffected. That's Como the reason no why it's false. Mm -hmm. And it's they false. really be affected. Yes, mm -hmm. so it's false. But let's see. Let's see what Guillermo... If Guillermo so sure is because maybe it is true. Well, yeah, no, but okay. do you understand that? Because if I say, no, man, don't worry. The tourism here will be unaffected. I'm lying because it's mm -hmm. going yeah, to be affected. It's a lie, so that it's false. Well, mm -hmm. you will see. <laughs> okay, let's see. The mother left the house to give her children freedom. False. True or false? false. false. Well, I will say true. She did go to a tree house. <laughs> yes. Yeah. She left the house. Yes, we. But because they no, didn't appreciate her. Only for give a yes. lecture. Yes, she didn't for to give her freedom. She did it to demand her, her place. Okay, let's say false. The mother agreed to come down from the tree. True. True. Let's see. False. Oh. Oh, this is false. Oh, yes, that's right. The mother didn't agree to come down. She actually came yep. down because she smelled. They made something. Okay. Yeah, that was the only wrong one. Okay. Yeah, because she didn't agree. Remember, she, I, the, the children were very smart. So then they cooked brownies. <laughs> and that's why they, um, that's why she came down. It's like I heard somewhere that people say that when your wife is angry with you, what you have to do is steal all the cans very hard. <laughs> because when she can't open them, she has to talk to you. <laughs> I'm still angry, but open this. So maybe that, that's, that's something like the children did to her mother in this case. <laughs> yes. Okay, class, um, I will see you tomorrow, okay? Okay. okay. You have good a night, very everybody. good day. Good Cheers. night. Bye. Bye. Take care. Bye. And have a good night. You good too. Night. Thank you. Have a happy Thursday. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye.